So uh, this is Brian here and uh, I've been uh, helping a guy in the States design a pulsar pump to aerate his pond but I think maybe his um, his power water source, his uh, little uh, waterfall that's going to power it is probably not strong enough <coughs> and uh, the water flow is a bit slow. So here's another option for aerating a, a pond. So you would have a 30 watt solar panel and it's connected directly to a bilge pump, a 12 volt bilge pump and uh, 600 gallon per hour. And that works out at about uh, 2200 uh, liters per hour, not 22, I don't know how I put that. Uh, anyway, 2000 per 100 liters per hour. So um, that's the capacity, so it might be a bit less than that <coughs> um, when it's powered by the sun. So you've got 30 watts and your bilge pump is underwater and there's no battery in this circuit. Um, the um, bilge pump just starts up whenever there's enough uh, energy to start it and um, it's water cooled so nothing burns out and I've had that confirmed by the bilge pump maker. So. Um, the water from the bilge pump goes into a, a two inch pipe that must be vertical in the water. So it goes into it and it should be, um, the entry point should be about three inches, so about um, seven or eight centimeters above the water level in your pond. And there should be some holes in the sides of the pipe in the top, say, four inches. So there's in the top 10 centimeters uh, below the water level there should be some holes to let in water if it's needed so that the water from the bilge pump entrains air in and the air goes down to the bottom in in this pipe and then the water exits out slowly uh, in this case to the um, to the right and the air would bubble so this is um, uh, a, say a five gallon um, paint or drywall uh, can and there's a hole cut in it for the um, a two inch pipe and there's a little hole up here as well and so the water would exit going this way well oxygenated water going slowly that way air would exit here now you could let the air just go back up to the top and the bubbles will as the bubbles are going back up to the top you're getting a second a, whole, a second uh, bash at the aeration but they'll, they'll cause a slow upwelling and what might be better to do is the bubbles going to the top stick them in a, another two inch pipe so uh, these bubbles will be as they're going up through the pipe um, they're causing a much a more focused current up through the pipe and then you just send the current out with a, a T, a swept T here joint uh, to the left so you're getting a current at the bottom to the right, a current to the, the top to the left and uh, this should aerate your pond um, a bit better and what else um, oh yeah so so price wise like um, um, 30 watt solar panel around a hundred dollars uh, bilge pump around twenty dollars uh, these pipes are about I don't know, 10 each. So so that's um, 120, 30, 40, $150 should do your whole system. I don't know how you're going to, you'll have to have some sort of float uh, that's attached to a top. It must be vertical, that's a critical thing. But um, yeah, you could probably make your own DIY aeration system, uh, which would be pretty good for less than $200 and um, yeah so I'm going to leave it at that thank you